What is up everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name's Kyle with RR Buildings and if you've been following along with this channel you would know that I hit a million subscribers and I did an epic giveaway of a, a plethora of tools and it went to an individual named Corey who is actually a teacher at Iowa Lakes Community College out here in Emmitsburg, Iowa. So Greg and I have made this trip and I've got a special video because I thought we were just coming out here to deliver some tools maybe shake some hands, kiss some babies, and just have a good time for the day. But they had other plans. They decided that they wanted to share everything with us. And one of the main features that they wanted to share was this. This is a 70 meter windmill. And that is Iowa Lake's own windmill. They own it. It actually, I think, does almost a net zero on their uh, campus. They're almost able to provide all the energy that they need uh, to run their operation. And they're gonna let us go ahead and climb up this thing. So we've been through training, we've done all the, the rigmarole, make sure that we're as safe as possible. You can see I'm in all the gear. And now it's time to go ahead and climb up this thing, see what it's like up there. I've never done this. I love being as high as possible. So let's get into it. He'll be fine, he'll be fine, he'll be fine. He'll be fine, he'll be, fine. He'll be, fine. He'll be slow. That's true. Right. So I'll go first. and. You go last. Yeah, you go first, you'll be on the deck. Yeah. All right, so as we climb, you're gonna open that hatch, and that first hatch is a little heavier than the rest. But when you get up to it, what you need to do is get up as high as you can get, so your, your helmet monster. hits it. You can tell from our helmets, they're all scratched up. Just come in and watch me. So, yeah. You'll get up to it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you for an hour. <laughs> all right, we're gonna start the trek up 70 meters. First, I gotta make sure I got this ladder safety guy on. We're good to go. All right, I'll see you up at the top. Hey, Dad, coming up. Watch Hatch open. Okay. Then close your hatch. Hatch closed. Don't drop it. Oh, well, we just went up the first uh, section 25 feet or so, and now we're gonna go 80 feet. And then the third section is 100 feet. So Greg, you gonna go first? Yeah. All right, buddy. Greg's such a champion. I got nothing to lose. <laughs> <laughs> it's good work, Greg. See you guys out there. <laughs> That's 80 feet right there. Here we go. Hey, you guys know how you climb a windmill tower, right? One step at a time. I'd say it's a pretty good thing that, uh, that Greg and I do squats every Friday because this is a leg workout and it's a forearm workout. All right, opening hatch. All right, closing hatch. So once we get up to every layer, we're at the, uh, I think we're on number two. We gotta make sure that um, we go ahead and latch into some access point. And then we can take off of this thing. This is gonna be our safety net when we're climbing the ladder with the cable. It's pretty cool. So we're just gonna take a little break. And then we got another 100 foot climb. So, yeah. <sighs> You're picking up all my hard breathing there, Joey. That was really fast. <sighs> Hatch open. <sighs> that's fast. And that's why I'm huffing right now. Hatch closed. Let's see. Two, well, no, we're on the third platform. We got, what, 20 feet? Hey, Joey, did you know what this is? Yeah, they told me. Glycol? Glycol. Just to keep it from swaying in the wind. Okay, so do I gotta go up another one? Yeah. I'm gonna get off. Whenever you're ready. You want me to go? 
No, you can go now. So okay. You can stay here. Take a moment. Let's go. All right, I'll see you up there. It's getting narrower, too. Hatch open. You know, I like that section. Yeah. You can rub your back on it. Yeah. The quickest section. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Hatch closed. Rick, Rick, Rick. Yeah. They ain't kidding. There ain't room up here. They do pretty good. Yeah, I details. Right crazy. by your right, I stepped up on that. Joey. Yeah. That's the top, man. Hey, hey buddy. Nice. Uh, wow. Uh, we're close. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of room over here. This was yeah, moving when I came up there. <laughs> this was? Yeah. The front side will be like 14 and a half RPM, and then when it comes out on the high speed side, it'll be 12, 10, 12, 10, 12, 100, 12, 110 RPM. Yeah. Wow. It, it does that because it's a six it's a six pole a squirrel cage generator so it has six poles so it needs to turn at 1210 rpm to produce 60 hertz frequency oh so my god 60 hertz so that way you can go right to the grid it's the same frequency so <laughs> it's crazy feel the movement yeah wow. <laughs> it's like a boat it's like you're in a little ship well, yes. you know that's what it, when it's when it's when it's moving pretty good it's like it's like when you're in the boat you just show it yeah hey we got a nice picture for you hey great what's up dude made it well just made the climb up and uh they weren't kidding, man. There is not a ton of room. This fall, it was, we take our first year students off the first week of school to make sure they liked it. I bet it was a thousand degrees up here. Yeah, and there was, uh, it was me, Mike, and then Matt, the first, second year student, and then 14 freshmen. We were all up here, 17 of us in there. Holy oh, crap. God. That now, all, a... this, all, this, all this equipment that's in here wasn't in here. So because... they were just sitting around? Yeah. Yeah, and usually what happens is I'll sit back there and they'll get out and I'll take yeah, a picture. Yeah. So, <laughs> wow. Crazy. Grab lab. So we got Mike. Yeah. Uh, 180 feet off the ground. Yep. Nick? Yeah. Nick's up here. Where's that? Nick, you made up. it? Yeah, I decided to break off. It wasn't that bad, was it? No. It wasn't that bad. No, I, when you I, get a, I saw I you take a break and I didn't take cry any, a little. I didn't take any breaks. What are you talking when about? You, when, you were tearing up a little bit, though. A little bit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I did climb it. When you climb it, there's so many people, there was enough rest on the deck. Yeah, that's fine. I felt like I... Just, I, I just feel it. I'll be honest, my first 25 feet was harder than the 80 or the 100. I don't, I don't know, it was just, if I felt the first 25 foot in my arms, but then these other ones, and this last one was really nice because you just like hid your back on the wall and just kind of pushed up with your legs and you... It's a nice temperature up to climb through, it's hot perfect. Yeah, this is warm up here. Yeah, it's up here too. Yeah. I'm gonna open it up. Yeah. Of course, you had a sweatshirt on too. Yeah. yeah, I didn't know what it was gonna be like. So we are finally up at the top in the turbine. 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 Yeah. Turbine. Is it an official turbine. way to say it? Turbine? I think turbine sounds cooler, but uh, <laughs> there ain't a ton of room up here. But we got about eight of us are going to be up here, I think, eight or nine. And we're just waiting for everybody to get up here. And then we're going to open the hatch. Hopefully it's not raining too bad. And uh, we can get out on top and, and get the view. Because right now we're just sitting in a box. Feels like you're in a boat almost or a submarine because you can feel the sway. You can feel the sway. Have you felt it yet? Oh, yeah, no. Just don't move, and you'll feel it. I'm going to get out of the way, get some more people up here. I'm going to go over, Greg. And I'm going to come over here. This is a little BTS, Joey. This is what it takes to get the shot. If I think about this too much, I'm gonna, I get too, a little scared. But I'm strapped in. I'm strapped in. I just need to sell myself to strapped in. We are on a 70 meter windmill. So I think right now we're closer to 250 feet, I think. Um, this is not one of the big monster windmills, but I think it's a 1.5 megawatt. Uh, and although delivering all these tools was definitely the highlight and seeing all the reactions, coming up on top of this windmill, making the climb, this was pretty dang sweet and definitely very special. Very thankful for them to bring us up here. But uh, where's Greg? Greg, Yeah. where are you at? Greg took about five breaks on the way up. He was really tired and he only cried for a little bit. But was it worth it, Greg? This is up here. <laughs> it's up here, dude. <laughs>
<laughs> it's crazy. It's hard to really even put it into words. And you're sitting up here, and when you sit still, you feel the sway. No, no I don't, I'm not gonna think about it. Look at that. I asked him if I could hook onto one of these blades over here. You see the yeah. hook points? <laughs> <laughs> I hope I think it's on the pond. It's crazy, guys. Hey, this is probably one of the coolest things I've done in a really long time. If you get the opportunity to climb to the top of a windmill, I'd put it on your bucket list. Uh, but we're gonna go ahead and maybe learn a little bit about the turbine downstairs. I know it's not turbine, guys. It's a turbine, turbine. but it's just fun. It's fun. All right, you first, big guy. Awesome. They just let me, uh, they just let me come up on top of the windmill. So 100% on top, I'm tied off. I've got the uh, proper PPE properly tied off. We've got Mike over here. His head is uh, right there and he is 100% safety conscious. So he's making sure that we are following all safety protocols. Look, look at that. Absolutely crazy. So there's the hatch. I've got my GoPro on a uh, attachment point. So everything is attached. Nothing is going to fall, hit anybody. He's coming up. He's going to sit right there. Who is? Greg. Greg is? Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, you just want to tie off right away and then... Find whatever you can to step on. <laughs> Look at this. Try not to. No, you have to. Oh, Greg coming up? And we got Joey. We're going to go ahead and try to bust out the drone and grab some epic, epic award-winning... What do you think, Greg? We're up here. We're up here, but you know what? I, it doesn't bother me at all. No, it doesn't bother me at all. And I know it should because literally... I mean, right there is... I think Colorado up in the mountains would worse. Because you don't have fall protection. Yeah, you do. Like... There's our cars down there. There's Joey. Hey, Joey, you got a landing. Or you got like almost a landing pad right there. Yeah, sort of. <laughs> All right, we're going up with it. Y'all ready? Oh, stand by. You're crapping the hands. It's okay. In three, two, one. Mike or Pat? Yep. Let's freaking go. <laughs> I feel like if I keep like staring at everything through the lens of my camera and like also <laughs> I'm gonna like have a vertigo effect here. Probably. Joey has got the drone out because of course we're gonna get some good drone footage and Greg and I are at the top of the world. Actually Iowa Lakes. I will say the nice thing about coming down though is being able to just put your back right on the wall and just slide. It makes it much, much easier. So that is, uh, that's the windmill. We are now back into the, the regular world. What an awesome experience, man. We just were able to climb this 70, meter windmill. I just got eye, eye full of water. But uh, couldn't have done that obviously without Iowa Lakes, you know, community college. And I thought we were just going to come out here, deliver a bunch of tools, shake some hands, kiss some babies, stuff like that, and say thank you for being a subscriber. Thank you for being a supporter. And I want to help support you by giving you these tools. But they have given us a great time. They even let us climb to the top of their windmill. They showed us a bunch of, uh, you know, technical stuff involved in there, talked us through a lot of the process and uh, yeah, 
Hopefully you guys enjoyed it just even a little bit compared to what I just got to enjoy. And if you ever get the chance, go climb a windmill. So if you guys didn't see the actual tool delivery or my live where we uh, you know, gave the tools away, this is Corey. Corey is a 20 year, 20 years this year? This, at the end of this year, it'll be 20 years, yep. 20 years of teaching the next generation of tradespeople all the skills they need to go out and be successful. And so Corey was instrumental along with Kyle, which Kyle is still, Kyle's right here. So Kyle's the Dean of Students. These guys are you know, responsible for letting Greg and I come out here, do this climb. And uh, I just wanted to say thank you guys because this was a once in a lifetime you know, opportunity because I don't see myself getting into wind. Aren't you? You know, I don't see that as a future career, but it was a heck of a lot of fun and I definitely learned a lot. And it's cool that you guys offer this to the next generation of kids out there to, to learn about probably something that's very important. Big thank you.